Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another video. If you haven't already, please check out my website, www.bpfs, that's bravo, papa, foxtrot, sierra, hyphen, online.com. The reason I suggest you check out the website is that the website acts as a library full of free accounting videos and accounting related videos. So please go on there, you don't have to pay for anything, you can just watch video after video. Um, and today there's over 100 videos on that site. In the next 12 months there should be about 200 videos on that site. So a projected balance sheet, unless it's required by an investor or a bank lender, I wouldn't suggest doing the projected balance sheet. The reason being, even though it's the most simple template by site, it requires a lot of effort to create a projected balance sheet. And it can give some people a bit of a headache. So unless you really need to do it, um, I would suggest that you skip this and then move on to the, the final videos of this business planning series. So I'll, so I'll go through the template, I'll show you how to create it and also give advice and guidance as I do that. So Excel, once again, I'm going to go to print and then come back out. So I have these lines of where the print margin is, second row, merge and center, projected, balance sheet, BPFS, I'll make that bold and underline, do the same underneath, 2015 to 2016, so that's the year, just like the projected income statement or profit and loss statement, you'll probably want to do these one for each year, um, so you should have three if you're doing a three year business plan. First, let's put in assets, that's the title, so as mentioned in previous videos, a balance sheet focuses on the assets and liabilities of the company or business, whereas a profit and loss statement focuses on the profit, which is calculated by sales minus expenses. So what assets do we have in the business? First of all, you have cash, you have accounts receivable, that's money owed to you, it can also be referred to as your debtors. You can have stock, equipment owned by the business, and then other assets. There are other titles you could put down, but for most small businesses, this will cover all the assets you're going to have in your first year. I've put them in this order for a reason. Professionally, you are meant to always put the most liquid asset at the top. Uh, most liquid being the most cash asset. So cash first, accounts receivable will generally can turn your debtors into cash pretty quickly. Then stock, equipment and other assets. Over here on column H I'm going to put a pound symbol, bold and underline and put it in the center. So that's H center. format cells, put a thick border in, okay, equals sum, and this will be the total of all the assets, so equals sum, open bracket, so that's H7 down to H12, close bracket, it's currently at zero, if we highlight that column and right click, let's try that again, format sales, currency, pound sterling, two decimal, obviously change that to dollars or whatever currency you will be using. Our next heading is liabilities. Your liabilities are anything that is owed to others from the business.
that will generally be some sort of bank loan. And accounts payable, so your creditors, any money you owe to other people. Once again, we'll put a total in. We'll make the border thinner this time. And our last title will be equity. Let's make that bold and underline, and this will be your capital. And retained earnings. Once again, let's put a thinner border. Equals sum, open bracket, close bracket. Then down the bottom here, we'll do a thick border. Equals the total here, plus the total here. We need to put a formula here, equals sum, open bracket, bank loan and accounts payable, close bracket. 